G'day battlers and the final Sylph Cup of Season 2 is here, the Catacomb Cup. So this is going to be the medit for the month of July and I'll be putting out tons of Catacomb content all month so don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up with all of that. With that said, let's get into the Catacomb Cup. So uh, there are five eligible types and a long list of bands you can see in the bottom left there. So you can use Pokemon with at least one typing of Dark, Grass, Ice, Rock or Bug. However, you cannot use any Pokemon that have a Steel typing, Legendaries and Mythicals, Shadow Pokemon, Regional Pokemon, as well as Scrafty, Dugong, Alolan Ninetales, Obstagoon, and Crustle. So we might talk more uh, in another video later on about why these Pokemon are banned, but for now, we're just going to take that for what it is. I'll also link in the description below the Sylph page, where you can see the full list of all of the eligible Pokemon, as well as the search string, where uh, you can copy-paste that into your Pokemon storage, and you can see all of the eligible Pokemon that you have in your storage. So yeah, with all that information, let's finally take a look at the Meta Simplified infographic for the Catacomb Cup. I mean, uh... After you subscribe, of course. Uh, anyway, let's go. So here we are. Very simple, as you're going to see, because we've kind of broken it down into just the core typing. So there were five typings in this cup, and I've broken it down into six sort of slots there. So bottom left, we have the bug types. In the bottom, we have rock types, which is going to be pseudo wudo but we'll talk more about that later on. In the bottom right, we've got the ice types. Top right, we've got the grass types. And we have two slots there for the dark types. We've got Umbreon in the top left and Zwilus, Zwilus, I don't actually know how to say it, in the center there. So we'll talk all about this kind of as the video goes on. So I think a good place to start is going to be Zwilus because he's a pretty, uh, he's a force to be reckoned with in this cup. And that is mainly because he has Dragon Breath. And Dragon Breath, as we've, uh, if you've done Great League PvP before, you know Dragon Breath is absolutely insane. It just does so much damage, kind of builds up a little bit of energy. And then Swallows also has Body Slam, which just charges up really quick. So it's like, yeah, you're getting lots of damage off the Dragon Breath, and then you're also going to get Body Slams off. So it really whittles stuff down. So it has lots of neutral matchups across the cup. The arrows don't really do it justice, I don't think. Uh, not as much as Umbreon, but we'll get to that later on. But yeah, it does beat down the Umbreon with the just body slam spam, as well as being able to beat down the Venusaur uh, and grass types. But grass types is a little not as clear cut. Like he loses some, beats some, I'm pretty sure. And then he's going to be losing to the ice types really hard because of that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Dragon Breathers don't really like the ice types, as it turns out. So yeah, going to lose to the ice types. Also going to be losing to Pseudo Wudo in the bottom because Pseudo Wudo has counter. Counter is just going to really start adding up. And then also losing to the bug types in the bottom left. Uh, so, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about other stuff later on. So moving on to Venusaur in the top right, we're going to circle around to Umbreon because I think Umbreon is the most important one to talk about. Uh, and I want to make sure that you've got a clear... Uh, clear picture of what the cup is before we get to that. So top right, Venusaur. Venusaur is actually a pretty simple one. Going to be beating down Umbreon uh, and actually JRE Seawolf, I'm pretty sure he made a tweet that said that Venusaur is like one of the best counters for Umbreon in this cup. So something to keep in mind. So yeah, going to be able to beat that down. Going to also be able to beat down Pseudo Wudo because of his rock typing uh, and then is going to be losing to the Zwilus as we said before. Also losing to the Ice types because of course he's going to be and then also the Bug types. Ice and Bug, that is two things that don't really mix with grass. But Venusaur specifically can still hit a lot of damage off onto like a, a Snowy Castle for example just because Frenzy Plant is such a broken move like it's such a heavy heavy, uh, heavy blow that uh, it can really do some damage regardless uh, so that's kind of why I'm kind of in the Venusaur camp this early into the cup you know I probably shouldn't say that I'm all behind Venusaur already but uh, yeah at this like an hour into the cup uh, I like Venusaur. So anyway, moving on to the ice types in the bottom right. Now we have Snowy Castform and Frostlass here. I believe uh, Glalie was above Frostlass in the preliminary PV poke rankings. Uh, I'm talking like prelim preliminary preliminary. Uh, they aren't actually released as I'm recording this, so I did build this without the, the PV poke leaderboard sort of thing. Could, could be like, you know, easy custom one, but uh, yeah, so Glalie was above, but I think Frostlass is a little bit better. Uh, just if you, I mean, we've just gone through Sorceress Cup where Frostlass is a machine. So much spam, so much damage like just if you can land a charge move even if it's neutral it is just insane so Frostlass was like a yeah I really want Frostlass here so we'll kind of see how the ice types develop as the month goes on but they're going to be beat the Venusaur as we said before also going to be beating the Swilus and then also going to beat the bug types in the bottom uh, bottom left there if it's swinging around the arrow underneath the pseudo wudo he's going to be losing to the pseudo wudo because of that counter damage though uh, and then also going to be losing to or well, uh, not really losing to so the Umbreon in the top left is a little bit iffy uh, so like Umbreon can obviously beat the Frostlass because Frostlass has the ghost typing. Foul play is going to do a whole chunk of damage to Frostlass as it goes and it's pretty squishy as is. Snowy Cast form isn't so clear cut. It's kind of a closest matchup I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that's something that uh, 
I don't think you can rely on one or the other to be a counter to the other one, basically. But Umbreon having those close matchups is something that we are going to get to. So moving on to Pseudo Wudo, Pseudo Wudo has counter, which is basically the one reason why he's the primo rock type in this cup. Like, if you want a rock type, he's your guy. Like, you know, you could go with Makago or something, go for something special that beats ice types and grass types, you know, whatever. Uh, Makago actually might be good, actually, because it's also bugs in the bottom left. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But uh, going to be beating down the ice types, going to be beating down the Zwilus, going to be beating the bug types as well, although that isn't as clear cut. It is going to be losing to Beedrill and the two shield. Uh, so it's, it's not as clear cut, but it's still... Uh, pretty much a counter to the bug types and then gonna be losing to the grasses uh, and actually I forgot to mention that he does beat the Umbreon because uh, of that counter damage also so onto the bug types in the bottom left we've got the B crew Vesper Quinn and Beedrill so uh, yeah if you don't have a Vesper Quinn maybe Beedrill will do alright because obviously lots of people have Beedrill right now with the brand new drill run so I, I do wonder if Sylph like made this cup so that Beedrill with drill run could get a little go not sure not sure if we'll have to wait and see but uh, Beedrill is gonna be uh, a pretty nice with drill run in most situations in this cup, Beedrill can actually flip a lot of losses to wins in the two shield. Uh, so, you know, you might have to invest two shields, but you can get out on top. I don't know if that's really worth it, but again, we'll kind of see as the cup develops. So, bug types, going to be beating the grass types, going to be beating the, Venus, uh, the Umbreon because of that dark typing, going to be beating the Zwilus, and then uh, going to be losing to the ice types and the pseudo Wudo as before. So... Beedrill against Umbreon is actually kind of iffy, uh, but it, actually that brings it back to the fact that Umbreon matchups are iffy. So I think we'll just move on to that now. Umbreon. You can see that there are no arrows leaving Umbreon on this graphic. And that is because Umbreon beats a lot of things that aren't on this graphic. For example, uh, ghost types like Sableye, gonna be beating that Frost Lass in the bottom right. Sort of, so yeah, the ghost types. Uh, and then also gonna be beating kind of just general matchups. So if someone brings the Spice Pick, Umbreon can probably beat it, unless it's like explicitly geared to beat Umbreon. So Umbreon is just a bulk machine. Uh, if you've used Umbreon before, you know that it's just really tanky, can output tons of damage while uh, taking lots of hits. I, I actually asked in the Ghost Stadium Discord chat, and I was like, um, so why is Umbreon kind of so good here? And they're like, uh, yeah, the bulk. Um, so I think someone, uh, I can't, cannot, maybe it was easily done, uh, mentioned that Umbreon is basically like a third shield on your team, just because Umbreon can take so many hits. Like, it's, it's kind of insane how many hits Umbreon can take. Uh, but that's something that uh, we'll kind of, kind of see how the, as the meta develops because a lot of Umbreon's losses are close losses. So it doesn't win tons. It's not an, an overall arching fiend like Pseudo Wudo there beating all sorts of things. But it doesn't lose very hard. It puts out lots of damage before it goes down. So, And actually an interesting thing about Umbreon is that it can beat Venusaur if it has foul play Dark Pulse. Uh, instead of having last resort, so we might have to wait and see what the recommended moveset is for Umbreon, like what the best moveset is to go for, because there's definitely reasons to go for both the the, the double dark moveset and the moveset with last resort. I think it even loses to Venusaur with last resort dark pulse instead of last resort power play, so I think you do need that double dark to beat Venusaur, so that's another kind of a intricacy that may pop up in Umbreon's favor later on. But uh, yeah, as I said at the start of this video, this is a very simplified infographic. This does not have heaps of uh, the little rolls. Like it doesn't have Pinsir. Pinsir exists. Pinsir has close combat. That's going to be able to do tons of damage to all sorts of things uh, and be a little bit different than a bug type. For example, that could uh, just destroy uh, Pseudo Wudo. Uh, it could beat down ice types. It can do a lot of damage. So there's a lot of picks that I have not covered, such as Alolan Muck is another example. Alolan Muck uh, also coming out of the Sorceress Cup. Very good Pokemon. Very good with an energy advantage. So can work as a really good safe switch. There is not a lot in this cup that hard counters Alolan Muck. So there's lots of these picks that exist, right? Uh, so as, as the month goes on, we're going to see a lot more uh, what the good Pokemon are. They're going to froth up to the top, basically. So, so if you do want me to do like a more in-depth Meta Simplified guide, uh, just leave a comment below because I might uh, consider doing one of those as well. Like, it's, and So we had the Meta Simplified one, which is here, very simplified, and then we might get, get more into the weeds, I suppose, get a little bit more complicated, get a bit more uh, this beats this in the one shield, loses this in the two shield. Uh, yeah, we might that sort of thing so let me know if you're keen to see that sort of thing this is definitely just to give you a really good starting foot in the catacomb cup so uh i hope this helps at all so you can start to get an idea of what sort of pokemon are good uh, i'll also link to pv poke in the description below because uh while the rankings aren't up right now they might they should be up by the time that you are watching this uh so yeah i'll link to that in the description below so you can see the top pokemon there uh and yeah with that said thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe especially that subscribe one thank you to my patrons melatime 9458 brightest f negative behind 10 not running human and your wordle for supporting the channel because they are truly legendary 
Actually, I should probably also take this opportunity to say that I do have a Twitch channel. Link is in the description below, so if you want to go give that a follow. All sorts of stuff to click in the description today. Um, but yeah, that's how we roll. So I expect a Catacomb Cup battle video coming very soon. If not today, it'll be tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, expect that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll see you in the next Catacomb Cup video. Ka-chao.